do of this video is going to be purse carry. Uh, we have two different styles of purse. This was the first one you ever used and the one you used the most. And this is your newer one because that one is falling, falling to pieces. Apart. We've got electric wire tape. coming yeah, through. Yeah, wire. We can go through, you want to just kind of go through, you know more about the old one than the new one, so let's start there. You have useless zippers on the front because it's literally this thing. So it's just pretty. Yeah. Um, and that, have, that looks like a purse. Some carry purses kind of get over the top where it's like, there's a gun in that thing. Right. So that's one nice thing about that. Looks yeah, like I don't feel like you look at this one and would instantly think that it was. Mm -hmm. um, I personally don't. Maybe some people would think so, but there's definitely different pockets and it's compartments basically. The other right. one we'll talk about, it's just one big open sack. And this one, I like it more because you have two pretty big roomy pockets. Um, again, we have lots of different zipper type stuff, so you don't have to just keep your gun. Like if you want to have your female, yeah, it's female still, products, it's still a chapsticks. functioning purse. Yes, it's a functioning purse. Um, you can put wallets, all that kind of stuff in there. They have a spot specifically for a mag, which was nice. Um, two spots. Yes, yeah, so you carry quite a bit of ammo on mm -hmm. you in this. And then, depending on what hand you are, on the side is where your gun sits in. Yeah, and we'll flash in some yep. pictures. And... So you can do it on either side. And then right now, you can see that it actually has the... It's not. It's a soft holster, but it's actually it's, yeah, it's, thicker than the. It's, yeah. it's thicker by far than the one that came with the Dean Adams. Yeah. So you actually have a little bit of a, a body to it. It's kind of a faux leather, mm -hmm. nice padded on both sides, so you can use it um, right or left-handed, and then just kind of cover the Velcro. Yep. Get the thing in there, and it, it, I've never actually seen the holster come out, and she practiced a lot more. With this whole thing oh, yeah. on the new one. Yep. But uh, I mean, really, that's visually showing off all the parts of it. But I really do like the fact that it has a braided cable. Yeah, braided cable in there, except for whenever when it, it broke out and through. kills yeah. you. Yeah. It's yeah, pretty it's awful. Stupid sharp. But, yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, and then again, adjustable depending on if you want it higher up, lower down, whatever it is. Um, I like this purse a lot. Yeah. And then unfortunately after... we couldn't find any more. I think this one's a Bulldog brand. Yeah. Bulldog case. It's even in kind of cutesy format on the little, you know, I don't know what ornament almost for like purse ornament. I'm sure that's not the word. So someone <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> but it's it's not, you know, gun centric looking. Right. It's kinda it's cutesy appealing. though. Yeah, it's it, it looks like a purse does instead of having, you know, direct emblems that, you know, Smith and Wesson right on the front or something right. like that. That's very, you know, oh, there's a Obvious. gun. Obvious, right. Um, oh, on the braided cable, I think the whole point of the braided cable, which we'll get into purse carry issues here in a second, but with that Specific cable in here, button. you can't cut that thing off. Like if someone for some reason was gonna come cut your purse off your body. Take it. They're not going to. They're gonna cut to that braided cable and then slip past it. The only issue with that is if you're wearing this on you, you are now on a leash and someone has a hold of your bag. There's um, definitely pros and cons to yeah, the purse. I've seen it, your common purse thief is probably not trained in any form of like martial arts with a weapon, but there are videos of soldiers taught to fight enemies with a sling weapon and you can turn them into a god dang nunchuck or something, just whip them around because they're stuck. So that's, that's not great. but. Good idea until it again comes through, and those are they nasty are sharp. sharp. They are really so sharp. If we can find another one of those, we might do yeah. that. Yeah, especially after the shooting, and you'll see why it's just. Yeah. Don't want to spoil it yet. As far as the gun size that will fit into this thing, uh, again, this was the initial gun being carried in it and the primary gun being carried in it for a long time until we realized, like, maybe don't do that. do that with a collectible. You know, and there are better guns for carry. A 1911 is absolutely awesome, but uh, a little more training involved, that kind of thing. So this is what rode around in it primarily. This is a Glock 19. I'd say this is probably your favorite yeah. to well, conceal. Well, yes, obviously, yes, to conceal, you know, yes. as far as a concealed gun. Um, this fits. It does not fit super well. The zippers, uh, that's the picture I got, I believe. The zippers basically stop almost at the rear sight and almost at the mag. So. You gotta cram. Yeah, you're kind of cramming too much in there. You are better off with the Hellcat, honestly. the Hellcat, or something like that. Now, I've seen 
bigger purses than this, but they always end up having about the same size pocket. Like even the giant, you know, beach tote looking purses will still have a tiny pocket. So, which makes sense. And we'll get into why later too, whenever we're shooting the other purse, right. because it is bigger. It is. Yeah. And that actually and you, creates problems. Yeah. You don't want it to be, but we'll, right. Yeah. So it worked and it worked pretty well for a long time. Stand by. That is why I prefer to shoot a larger fitting gun. Yeah, just something you can actually get your hands on yes. instead of a fumbling around for a but little. But that's okay. Let's All do right. one zip just so it's not totally unfair. <laughs> it could be the gun too. This is a uh, really a nice one. Very nice. Okay. I'm just gonna go with the shoulder. All right, stand by. three four even with an unzip yeah i i honestly think the black purse it's Maybe just it it's it's floppy the inside of it is super loose i guess it's just too big this one how are they styled this one is a lot yeah, better yeah like so. you said that one's two separate pouches sewn together so yep. you like that pouch stops there's an end to it on yeah. that browning purse you can go actually, straight yeah, through yeah it's like a hand warmer you can unzip from both sides and it's kind of loose fitting and i don't yeah, that's a... It's a little too big. I'll try it one more time. Again, first time shooting it out of this. Right. Got caught up on the top, not the bottom. Again, this is why you'd have to practice yeah. to make sure you can yeah. do it. Here we go. There we go. That's that all it was. was very that. fast. That was much yep. smoother. I pulled it up too high the first time because I was worried about it at the bottom. So it's okay. You just have to really... Yeah, you actually, have to practice and figure out what would work. Yeah, and I don't know if anybody's going to be able to keep that in mind when they're in the position to have to draw that thing so and i'm going to do it here in a minute when i'm unzipping it we'll see how long it takes me to actually unzip right. it and, and do it because totally it's going to be different it. what like three four uh, yes yeah, five <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit longer it's probably, I kind of figured it would be. That would probably speed up considerably if you had like the Hellcat in there or something smaller. All right, so we just switched out the Glock. That was a little bit too bulky for this. It fit, but it was kind of a bit of a cram. So we switched the Glock out with the Hellcat, and we're going to kind of see if the actual draw is going to be quicker since the gun is not... Fits a little better. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we'll see. Okay. I'm going to do it twice. Unzip, well, I'm going to start it. Yeah, unzip, just do the same and thing. And then we'll just do it that way, kind of see how it goes. All right. You're under two, so that's cool. Yeah, that wasn't much better. I fumbled a lot. You fumbled, but it was actually a half second faster, so that was a five. 5.06. It didn't get caught on anything. I just fumbled, so yeah. we'll try it again. The, that's one thing maybe about the purse is that it can move on yes. your person. It's not stuck in one spot every time like your holster on body would be, so something to think about. Uh, four nine eight. And actually, the where I'm pulling from, mm -hmm. it is moving around like crazy. Like just the like the Velcro and stuff is not sticking super super well. Oh, are you sure? So is it the Velcro or is it the because um, the leather? of the holster seems pretty floppy is it like actually just bobbling around like is there anything you can do with your left hand to kind of no no yeah that's moving a lot yeah it's moving a lot it up in there. yeah so now you have a moving target yep okay and I'm... which is okay this purse is actually bigger than the brown one that i've used right i haven't had it before where it moved yeah, like that, that so movement. that i don't i think that's kind of part of what i'm fumbling around it almost be nice it. if there was like a sheet of uh polymer or something in the center yeah. just to keep it stiffer so the thing isn't flopping about yeah because that's but again, your molded this, holster yeah and this one is a it's a bigger bag so yeah. they make concealed carry purses too that are huge yeah. i'm sure that would be where you're carrying like a five gallon bucket yeah so um keep that in mind too so yep all right, all right we'll try it one more time see if i can get any quicker Uno mas. Here we go. 
much smoother. That was 3.8. So you shaved literally two seconds off from the uh, first block draw, so that's a big deal. Yeah. Hit are still looking real good. Again, you would just have to shoot it and get good with it and practice. And yeah. even if you're not shooting it, if you were just drawing it unloaded, because that is, I mean, there was a lot of floppy gun movement. Yeah, that's not so, exactly. And I'm not, it's secure. not ideal, but that's okay. Uh, before we go too much farther, uh, let's go over just benefits, pros and cons of just off-body carry at all. Because on-body, generally speaking, is always better. Uh, you have control of it, blah, blah, blah. You know it's, exactly where it's going to be at all times. Right. So Someone can't take your gun right. off of you. At least like not. In a purse, in a, yeah, right? I can't yank it. Uh, what are some other issues you ran into while carrying in a purse? It's not going to be as quick on the draw, um, honestly. Whenever you're put in a situation where you know you have to get the gun out super quick, you might be trying to pull on the zipper and if you have a gun that the bottom of the gun actually sticks out a little bit too far, it'll get caught. That happened in the video a couple times right. and you have to fight around it. So it's definitely quicker. You know, somebody could pull it off your body. Um, just as far as like bringing the thing around, did you? Because adding a you know twenty something ounce gun and a couple of mags to your art, you know, depends on the person because some people carry everything they can fit in a purse, in a purse uh, right. and some people don't. You know, they're more minimal, minimalist about it. You're almost, mine is mine is primary wallet, right? Maybe some chapstick, yeah, gum. products, gum. Like that's pretty much it. Keys. Yeah, and kept it fairly light. So. Right specifically did not buy a big right. purse tote type right thing. tote purse gun yeah so. so if you're the type of person that's going to put a bunch of stuff into a purse this may you know you, you're going to have to kind of play with that formula and see how much you're willing to do because you are going to add you know two three pounds you're also going to have to i think you're going to have to practice more to actually be comfortable with pulling out of a gun as a, now i mean you still have to practice with on carry sure by you're far on. but i feel like there's way more room for error whenever it comes to pulling him out of the purse, just personally. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing that's easy to notice about the purse, we also tried the hard mold holster in it. And again, you have an item that is moving around. Uh, so you can use your other hand to kind of stabilize and go for the gun. But when things aren't held taut or stable, breaking through that level one retention hard mold holster looked like a problem. Well, you're also trying to do it quickly because right. if you're actually concealing and you actually are trying to defend yourself you are yes, unless you is. right unless you are really really good and comfortable it's kind of stressful yeah and you're oh, freaking, yeah. you're freaking out a little bit and that's and only under a beat <laughs> yeah it's only on a little timer it's not a yeah. real situation so you should definitely practice it um yeah. even if you're having fun with it but you'll get quicker every time you do it but yeah it's uh it's definitely it and you'll see it in the video it took way longer to do from the purse yeah except for the one time i your danger drew, move yeah and then wrapped it wrong but you know yeah you know we make mistakes speaking of the time it takes with a purse let's talk about danger mode okay so so that was kind of how i justified the purse the carry um i told myself all right if we were in a super serious situation where i really thought okay i do need to use this right now following you right to your car, someone's following like, you to the car the way i had it was i put it on super danger yeah hand would actually be in and you can kind of already hold it you can't really tell what's going on um or at least I tell myself you can't. No, I, if, if someone it's, was it's, walking down the street and saw you walking like this yeah. with your hands rested on your purse. Right. You know, so that, that was the way that I did it. It made it easier. But again, that was me kind of cheating as well when I would do my drills because, again, if I, you know, didn't actually have to unzip it and all that stuff. But that is what we were doing. That's how right. I justified carrying a little bit bigger gun because I was more comfortable with shooting a full-size gun as opposed to the Hellcat. I'm not bad with the Hellcat. I just like a gun that fills up my big old hands better than something small. I don't like it when my pinky hangs off. Right. But again, I shoot it fine. It's just personal preference. Um, but yeah, that was the purpose and of... I don't think in any defensive situation there's such a thing as cheating. Like if well, you, you know could, what I mean. You know, <laughs> if, I know, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's <laughs> like you should be situationally aware of where you're at. Um, with a purse, that's one thing you can do. Like if I'm walking down the street 
and I feel threatened, I can't exactly like take my shirt and tuck it behind my gun and just walk around. I mean, you could, but it depends on where you're at. So, and what you're willing to go to. So with a purse, you can actually have, you know, hand on the gun, finger off the trigger and everything, ready to go, and you can't beat that draw time. If if I'm sitting with my hand on my gun, ready to draw, and I hear a beep, I'm up a whole lot faster well, how, than having to how defeat. fast was it? Was it 1.8? Yeah, you went from somewhere, from like unzipping, and we'll show the video again, but from unzipping and shooting was somewhere around four or five seconds sometimes, just fighting that zipper, and then it went to, yeah, sub two seconds with just being from here with your hand on the gun to up and making a good hit. So, and we don't, we don't practice as much as we want to, to by any stretch with to. children, but you know, you can do a lot of that dry fire and speed that up. Right. Anywho, so that's danger mode and we'll show it in the video, but, um, So we can go ahead and yeah, talk about the other purse, the new purse again, nice and pretty. Um, got it specifically because this one was cutting me with all that yeah, it's wire. Crap out. Yeah, it's just getting old and, but, um, uh, really pretty purse. Yeah, this one I would say does a pretty good job of not looking like the gun purse other than... I mean, it has a little... Um, browning the, symbol. Yeah, the browning yeah. symbol. Some some people might, but I mean, it's again, it's black on black. You would have to really yeah, be looking to kind of... it's very kinda, small. Yeah. Um, it has, again, your zippers for the gun, but this is what I was talking about. Yeah, this one's more like hand warmer style. You yeah, you can get through. your hand all the way through, and in the video you will see I fought it a lot. This wiggles a lot. Which... Well, and that was the other issue. We actually did not try that purse with the soft holster. We did it with the retention holster. And again, if you can't have a fairly secure, you know, stable draw, breaking retention is a lot harder if the thing's moving on you and your angle's changing all the time. Now, it was also the first time I've ever fired from it. So yeah. can't really compare. I've had this one for years, you know, sure. but, but still it was, I did not like that. Um, yeah, this is probably the only time I'll ever say that using a soft holster is better than a hard mold holster, at least from the experiences that we have. Like, generally speaking, nylon is not bueno, but in this, where you do have retention just by the way of zipper, you have to break that level of retention, and then it's just keeping the gun in place so you can get it and get it out easily. That level one retention actually harmed your draw on this. And I ran in with the same problem with this zipper as I did the other one, yeah. is, you know, the Sucks. end of the gun, or I don't remember, I was thinking it was this one I was shooting. Yes. But yeah, I it would get caught on the inside and then you would have to actually pull up to right. pull down, silly, but it adds time, stuff yep. like that. Stuff you gotta um, Again, I was talking about the strap. This does not have the wire. No, this it's is very thin. thin. Um, not preferable for me, but I mean, you still can adjust it, so that part was cool. The front, I guess you say top, got some stuff in here, but there you go, same way as the other one, you can hold your mags in there, which is nice. But otherwise um, it's just a big, yep, it's well, you just, do have like a zipper back. Yeah, there's a, again, just one spot for. It's also on the front side of where the gun's gonna be, so that's kinda Yeah, I mean, great. you that would be like change. That looks more yeah. like a change part to me, but. Cards or something thin. Cards? Cards, like credit cards. Jennifer can go play poker. <laughs> oh, no, we're not putting playing 52 card pickup Sorry. after you have a few. I just something. like what? <laughs> yeah. So again, um, and this one's magnetic closure. Yeah, that part is really neat. It is magnetic, um, and it's pretty, and I like it. But I did not like it as much as the other one, unfortunately. Yeah, I think so. With any time you're using a purse, you're making some serious concessions to your ability to get the gun out and on. Yep. Um, but you gain a whole lot in the way of, you know, freedom of what kind of clothes you want to wear. You, there's no printing. You don't ever have to worry about people seeing the butt of your gun sticking out of your shirt or something. Again, if you're carrying a purse and it's super hot outside and I want to wear a tank top and short shorts. Yeah, you, I, you put whatever you want in there. And right. you can put basically as big a gun as will fit right. instead of, you know, in the summer, most people cut down to some micro 380 or something like that. Um, but again, if you have a larger framed gun, you gotta make sure that it you are comfortable. Yeah, or you're able to get it out with the zipper, do your danger mode, whatever it is, however you practice with it. Um, again, with this type of purse, I could have it hanging over my left side and my child on my right side. So pros and cons to yeah. it. Um, the only other thing I can think that's a major con is if you are a forgetful individual, 
and you leave this somewhere, not only did you leave your wallet cards and all the other things, there went X amount of money in guns and mags, and that could be terribly dangerous depending upon who finds it, kids otherwise. So yeah. that's, that's probably the biggest thing, is that this is not on you. You have to be way more conscientious of where it is and all that and make sure it's coming with you and going with you. And yeah. You don't want to leave it in a bathroom stall in the Denny's. So, uh, but sorry, everyone loves Denny's, and you're going to be in the bathroom if you go to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least I am. Um, you're welcome. But <laughs> picture that in your mind for a minute. Don't. So that's kind of it for purse carry. I'm sure. People in comments and other things are going to come up with other issues. Uh, one last thing I can think of is your muzzle is just in here and potentially waving around all the time. Now it's in the holster, it is you know quote unquote safe, but some people freak out about shoulder holsters and things like that because you're aiming kind of behind you with a purse. You have that issue where you're aiming somewhere at this angle, or if you pick it up and wave it around, the barrel's just kind of all over. Um, guns don't tend to just shoot themselves off, but if you, for whatever reason, didn't have a holster and your lipstick case gets in there and bang, that's bad news. So holster, 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 like all the time. But anything else? No, I, I can't think of anything. Else. So again, what was your, what was your favorite way to carry out all these? Honestly, favorite way is the concealed carry leggings. Kept it real rigid. Your yeah. draw was the cleanest off of that, even under a winter coat. Um, so, yep. neato game. But you can make them all work. Absolutely, and there are times and places for each one. Yes. And this isn't every single one. There are a lot of women who carry, you know, more like I do, where you just have a belt and a holster, uh, appendix or otherwise, and. Or just open carry, whatever it is. Yeah, if you're hardcore. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again for tuning in to Triple F Shooting and for putting up with the two of us at the same time. I'm sure it's <laughs> a lot, but. We'll see you next time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. My think, brain went straight to, I need to rack it. I don't know why. I don't know, but you still, that was 3.8. I think you were like actually ready to shoot in something around the order of like a half second. Like the gun was just like, here I am. And you forgot about the safety. Yep. So, and I even just told myself, I just. Yep, and that's we'll why we train with the gun you're going to carry. Yep. That's probably like 50 minutes. No, it was long. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, like, we rambled.